and Ariel. Hey, good afternoon. Saw the outside of the boat with Rick describing everything, the trailer. Remember, the trailer's brand new. There's maybe a couple hundred miles on the trailer, that's it. It's an 03 Edgewater. Edgewater was designed and built, the company was started by Dottery. You'll know that name because he's the one that, that did the designed Boston Whaler. So from ground up, Boston Whaler was always his. He sold the corporation and he started building Edgewaters. Uh, he also built a company called Everglades. These are all quality, quality boats, top of the line boats. Uh, this is a 26 foot twin engine Yamaha 225 horsepower, four strokes. And we'll, we'll show you the engines here in a moment. Uh, you can see the console here, it's got a Garmin on it. Uh, it does have a depth finder that set up for some different things, char plotter, all that stuff. 545S, we've got a Clarion uh, stereo system, JL audio amps, subwoofer, and speakers. The boat's got an awesome sound system. We'll go into that too. Icom VHF radio, Lenco uh, trim tabs, Yamaha gauges, uh, the Yamaha Seastar steering right here. Uh, and all your controls are here, engines and everything like that. Uh, the compass on it, T-top in very good condition all the way through. These are also JL Audio speakers, so they come with the boat. Uh, the boat's very, very well equipped. This boat has not been fished. It's only got the factory rod holders here. You can see no rod holders up here, so it's not all dinged up and scratched up from rods and stuff like that. It's in, in very, very nice condition. Sorry about, we got a little bit of dirt. It's been very windy down here in South Florida, but uh, got some life jackets in here. There's gonna be four or five, maybe six life jackets that do come with the boat. Again, uh, this is, uh, you know, all, all latchable there. Uh, more storage here. The anchor's not on the boat right now. We took it off to clean everything. You got about 150 feet of anchor line. That's coming with a fortress anchor. The fortress anchor is very, very lightweight. Um, we actually did a video for them for the corporation showing how well and easy it is to use. If you've never used one, it's like the greatest anchor there is. Four of the JL Audio back. speakers, subwoofer and regular speaker, and speakers up in front there. Inside the console here, it's set up. You can put a head in here. The amps for the JL are back underneath there. You can't really see them. We've got a sink here, uh, console storage, all kinds of stuff rod, you know, uh, uh, locker for fishing rods and stuff and all that stuff. All the hooks underneath the step, more storage. There is uh, drawers there. Let me show you. We can get in here and stand up. So, you know, and I'm almost six foot. So there's plenty of room here. These are really nice pull out drawers. They do lock in there so they won't come out when you're fishing. T-top in the ocean. As yep. you can see, very, very nice condition. It's not all pitted up. Everything's original on this boat. Uh, you have the um, your seat here, console, leaning post, whatever for fishing. Right over here are your battery switches. We have a house battery system, then we have port and starboard. There's four brand new batteries that are in this boat. So all that's been done. This boat's turnkey, ready to go. You can see down in here, I don't know if the lighting's good, those are four brand new marine batteries. We don't cut corners when we do this stuff. Uh, we try to, try to keep the quality in the boat. Uh, that's how this boat was built. Fuel filters right here, brand new. Very, very accessible. Usually you gotta lean over upside down in a bilge to change your filters. It's got the, uh, like the Raycor separators here so you can check them. Again, look at that. Really nice design. Over here, that's the, just access into the, uh, to the transom again. Bait fish well, live well, whatever you wanna use it for. Same thing over here. Also, for the ladies, or to wash your rods and all that stuff, fresh water wash down. 
the end of the day, it's really nice. The boat holds, I believe it's 203 gallons of fuel. You can see the engines. We're proud of this. We do this on most of our engines. These engines were originally gray. They get sun faded, they get scratched up, they get really messed up. It costs you like five grand now to have a white engine. They have to strip it down in the factory and do it ahead of time. Some manufacturers are now painting them. We have these repainted. It's painted with marine paint and it's painted in a, inside a body shop. Uh, we've done about six or eight of these engines. It really updates them. Uh, and again, these are the four-stroke engines. It's got approximately 600 hours on it, uh, but the boat's been babied, as you can tell. Hey, give me a call. Steve's been filming this for us, and uh, we're ready to sell it. It's ready for fishing, ready for the Bahamas, whatever you want to do. It's a great family boat. My name's Jack. Give me a call, 954-520-9751. Fly in, pick the boat up, take a little vacation, Go to the Bahamas, whatever you want to do. We're ready. Give me a call anytime. Thanks very much.